Hello, uh, I'm going to draw a picture. <laughs> I started this one on canvas. I got some dead cheap canvases from the supermarket. The supermarket which has a an aisle down the centre of it which sells things like sink drainers and routers and cushions and in this case canvases. So I was able to pick up a couple of canvases. It's really nice. It's about the length of a piece of A3 paper but it's also square so it's A3 all round which gives you lots of nice room to do a picture on. So I got this one off Commander Marco 2612, this um, this screenshot. It's from the recent re reburning of the station, so I'm not sure whether that's a thing we would call that. A recent CG where uh, there was lots of lots of stations needed repairing after suspicious attacks. And so I thought, well, actually, I really enjoy doing paint every now and again and I thought we'll see if I can just do this one with paint and try and avoid using chalk at all. Anyway so so far at this stage and in fact actually all the way through I did manage to avoid using chalk so I was quite pleased with myself really. It's quite nice though because even though acrylic is, is not the greatest paint it dries really quickly it's dead easy to use. The good thing about it is that you, you can do really good details because you just choose a smaller paintbrush and you, that's not necessarily always that easy with chalk it's quite a faff i say acrylic's not the greatest because it kind of looks dull when it's done the paint color that you put on when it dries out the colors darken quite a bit so you've got to kind of bear that in mind so i obviously uh, I, I got around that by doing quite a cheesy cheat i got a uh, fluorescent orange and uh, bronze and mix that with a bit of the paint to make it look zingy and bright because it needed to look really properly dangerous and flamey. That's what the point of this picture is really. The, the heat coming off needs to look threatening. I wanted to give it that effect. So I, I thought, well, I'll see if Maca 2612 fancied saying anything about it. And this is fabulous because I have a little bit of audio, which is wonderful, all about actually doing the missions. And I think it sounds better if it's if it's coming from the commander who's actually taking the picture. It's more immediate and meaningful. So here we are. Hello, I'm Commander Marco 2612 from the Hunting Truckers. Like a lot of people, I get into rescuing refugees from burning stations during the Thargoid attacks and especially after the recent NMLA attacks. Regardless of whether you support the Empire, Federation, the Alliance or someone else, Rescues are a great way to help other people out. As you approach, you can see the fires from a long way. The colour stands out against the backdrop of space and is your first indicator that something is very wrong. As you close in the station, the damage to its superstructure becomes apparent. Hull panels are buckled, caustic green goo eats at what's left, and whole sections of the habitation rings have been torn away. From there, it's down and through the mangled tool track and past the warning signs. The red light inside the docking bay is unmistakable as you approach, and suddenly, you're in the thick of it. Trying to steer an orca onto a landing pad while avoiding floating wreckage and being buffeted by explosions, with a soundtrack of heat warnings, panicky radio chatter, and blaring station sirens makes for very dramatic and exciting gameplay. Oh, and manual landings only, in case you didn't already have enough on your plate. The way out is easier, but you still have to manoeuvre around the bits of floating wreckage, the whole environment conveys the intense heat through to the inside of your ship until you're out into the cold of space again. Capturing a screenshot in these circumstances is a balancing act between getting lined up for that perfect, heroic shot and getting back inside the ship before it starts to cook and you have to pop another heat sink. I normally don't do passenger missions, so for me, it's a great chance to fly my Orca. Still one of the best looking ships in the game. If you haven't tried it yet, and the opportunity comes up, then I recommend giving it a go. It'll certainly sharpen up your piloting skills. Well, that was cool. And yeah, that, that whole thing about the floating wreckage, that's often what takes you out as well, isn't it? Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Uh, bye. <laughs>